Hello everyone and welcome to today's ASMR video. Today I am going to show you the transmog sets that I have on my paladin. Um, I always get a lot of comments of people asking what is your transmog? Um, so I thought it's just gonna be a fun idea and it's gonna clear a lot of things up and um, It's just easy for you if I show you and tell you my transmogs on my paladin so Another wow video. I know some of you requested a non-gaming ASMR video um, for quite some time now, I'm definitely gonna do that too. Just takes me a bit more time and I'm quite busy lately, so that's why I'm doing a bit more um, gameplay ASMR. But the moment I have a cool package or something to unbox that is video worthy, I will definitely do more non-gaming ASMR soon, but I don't know when exactly, but I definitely so, let's dive into my transmogs and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this and a comment to help boost my channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy this video. Alright, I recently changed my transmog. I wanted something different. I had the white transmog in my previous videos, which I really love and I'll show you that one in a bit. But I wanted something unique that I don't see a lot, so I went for a black transmog. I don't see a lot of black sets in general. There's not a lot that is like pitch black or very dark, and especially for Paladin. So I went to browse through the set lists, even though I've done that a thousand times already. And I saw this set, and um... It's a PvP, like a gladiator set, and usually I skip those because I really don't like PvP. But this was literally the only black set, so I <laughs> I was like, you know what? The weekly was to win four battlegrounds, and I needed marks of honor. Why not just do to kill two birds with one stone, basically? So I decided to do PvP to get this PvP set. And I'll show you which one it is in a bit, but I went browsing through all the weapons I could not find like Well, at least um, In in the ones that I have I couldn't uh, find anything black and I went to look in the uncollected weapons and this was literally the only like dark black matching weapon that I could find and It's gigantic. It's Look at this guys, isn't this a sick weapon? Like what? So I went to look up where to get it. Apparently you could get it from like chests or like supply bags or something and it had a like 33% drop chance of being in one of those chests, which was pretty good. Downside though those chests you had to buy with a currency which you get from island expeditions island expeditions like what if there's one thing i did not like in bfa it was that so i considered doing it um until i figured out you could also just buy it so um since i'm a bit poor with the help of samo <laughs> thank you samo I um, perhaps got this uh, sword financed, uh, you know, <laughs> but yeah, it was quite pricey. I was like, oh my god, how am I gonna do this? And I wanted it so bad. So, um, it's also crooked, I see now, but it's a cool sword. So I'm gonna show you what all the items are called. This set is the Primal Gladiator's Skilled Armor Set. And you could buy this in Storm Shield from one of the vendors, and it's 12 marks of honor. 
and um, I didn't find any headpiece that shows my hair at the same time and that fits this, so no headpiece. I um, transmogged it to the Blood Hunter War Cloak. Um, I think this might have been a trading post item, but I don't know 100% certain. And this sword is called the Plundered Blade of Northern Kings. And I've put a Crusader illusion on it to get, give it a tiny bit of like white glow to match the lighter bits and my hair. And that's about it. I, um, I switch between protection and retribution. I don't have any shield or one-handed sword that matches all the black. So I still need to look into that, but for retribution, at least I have this set complete. So yeah, I absolutely love it. I, I really like it. Then moving on to the second set. So this one I made, um for protection. I think I also have a two-handed weapon that fits. Um, let me quickly have a look. Um, okay, I couldn't really find it, but I, I have tons of weapons that fit this color theme, so I'm sure I would have been able to find something, but this is the kind of like platinum white, very light, silvery shiny set. I really like it. It fits amazing with this mount. Um, yeah, I think this is really cool. The only thing with like big shields is that the cloaks and the weapons often clip through it. It's uh, I have a lot of clipping issues with shields and cloaks in general. But um, yeah, I love this set. I'm gonna tell you where I got it. So the like the armor is from um, the trading post reward of um, like completing the trading post for 12 months so like 12 times i don't think it needs to be 12 times in a row there can be gaps but just like complete the trading post 12 12 times and then you get this set with a very cool headpiece i'll show you that in a second and uh, you get three color variations um the others are cool for like hunters or warriors or something um the shield i bought in dragonflight with one of those um boyan boyan things <laughs> you got like this currency and you could buy transmogs in valdraken um yeah this shield was one of them and I believe this sword is a pretty basic uh, Shadowlands, like Bastion sword. So, let's uh, have a little look. Um, hey, where is... I'm gonna try to find... Um, oh, here it is. Okay, so this is the... Um, like unrelenting justice moonlit burden of unrelenting justice so it's this one you can look a bit like Maeve that's pretty cool this is the moon color we have cycle this is cool for actually like looking a bit like Maeve and well, this I struggled a bit with because I don't know about you, but I don't see a difference. Like, what's up with this? Is this bugged? Because I remember seeing when I unlocked it that maybe my memory is like not correct, but I have a vague memory that the third set was like a bit more, like a bit darker, a bit more maybe red, orange, brown or something, but or blue, I don't know, at least I remember it was three different colors and ever since I got it, it just looks the exact same, like why would you... I have no clue, I see no difference. But anyway, it's that set and 
the shield is the Dream Raiders Azure Defender. I don't think you can get the Boyons anymore. Um, so you won't be able to buy these transmogs easily anymore. I think you need to like um, physically do the raid that it drops from, and that's gonna gonna be a bit hard because it's it's still Dragonflight content, right? But yeah, the, they had many different colors, and this is the Ascended Gladius of Glory sword and Illusion Crusader again for just a doesn't need to be all over the place, right? No headpiece. I, I really like the white colored hair and the buns. It's just cool. So that's this set. It's awesome and I love it. Now, this transmog. This was just a bit of a fun transmog. Like, I, I didn't use this for too long, but it does look pretty cool, I think. Um, it's sort of like a student, scholar, um, apprentice, pirate, paladin thing. I don't know, but um, this one is a bit of a lazy transmog. It's just the, the set is from the trading post last month. It's, uh, I think it's a plunder storm reward, but maybe a recolor or something. I haven't played blunderstorm really i tried it out and that was about it so i bought this because i saw possibilities with the transmog i don't like pirate heads per se it has a head that is kind of cool but not my style and yeah added this sword that i think is from dragonfly just like this shield and i put the little glasses so I'm gonna show you what this is exactly. Well, okay, I did not mean to do that, but it looks kind of cool. Um, I'll show you the set. Okay, it's the Plunder Lord's Finery. So here you can see the headpiece. I'm sure lots of people people would love this headpiece, but yeah. Then the sword is the Neltheric Saber, no enchant on it, and the shield is the almost immovable wall, Im Im immovable, I don't know how to say that, but yeah, I, I like how it's so asymmetrical, like th there's a little feather here and this little cloth, it's not on the other side. It's like layered and chunky and uh, I really like it, it's cool. Now next is a set that I've used for the longest of time. It was slightly different before, I uh, made a few adjustments to it um, during the pre-patch of The War Within. So this is my, my purple set and uh, I mean you guys know this is my favorite color by now. I've rocked this for a long time, um, but yeah, like I said, it was a bit different before. It was mostly the Tomb of Sargeras uh, set, but during the pre-patch, we got a few of these other purple pieces, so I, I changed the shoulders. I'll show you what it was like before in a bit, but... Um, I think I changed the belt and the gloves and the cape. And these weapons are my artifact weapons for Paladin in Legion. So it's this cool purple set. So, um, yeah. Illusion is Mark of Shadow Moon. So yeah, these, this is Truth Guard with Oath Seeker, my artifact. And I'm gonna show you guys, um, wait, I can just show it here. No, I'll actually show it here. It was <laughs> this before. You didn't see what was in that list. You didn't see that. Um, it was this before, and now it's this. It's slightly different. It's still pretty cool. And this, Dalaran Defender's Plate Armor, is the pre-patch event 
um, sets and this is the Radiant Lightbringer armor from uh, Tomb of Sargeras so you can see it's quite similar I didn't change the gloves actually I see it now, it's still the same I did put my own cape it's the Dalaran Defender's Cape not, not part of this, but it is one of the pre-patch uh, capes. I haven't transmogged this, by the way. This is like the uh, Hello Fall, the Arathi set. It's so cool, but I want to get the dark version of it that you get from Delves, and I haven't found anything for that yet. It's like, does it even exist? Where do I get it? So yeah, next is this blue set. Um... I bought this off the auction house. I don't remember when this released exactly, but a while ago, maybe it was during Dragonflight, they released some armor from, was it Nexramas or something? Some very old sets that were maybe not obtainable anymore. I don't remember the details exactly, but I thought I can make something cool with that, so I purchased it off the auction house. It wasn't too expensive. I had an X that matched. I added this is probably Mongoose enchantment. And this shield is also from Dragonflight. So I'll show you. It's the um Golag, the final conflagration X with the Verdant Matrix Beacon shield. And it's the Icebane set, so Icebane Mantle, Icebane Breastplate, I never care about the wrists by the way, like, useless, Icebane Gauntlets, Waist Guard, Leggings, and Trudgers. And the cape is the Cloak of Hideous Unity. So, yeah, that's this very blue set <laughs> then this is a set that I've used for a while before I really got into like transmog hunting big time um, this is Tomb of Sir no, this is uh, an Thoris the Burning Throne set mixed with my order class hall set and probably some random things I never complete completed the order hall set um, there's some stuff that I couldn't figure out how to get it. it felt a bit complicated but I'll show you this is the crown of the silver hand pauldrons of the high lord there's no cape the breastplate of the silver hand so the silver end is the um, the class all set. Um, I have the bindings of the silver hand, even though you don't see them anyway. Gauntlets of fractured eons. That's the um, Anthoras gloves. I'm pretty sure. Girdle of the silver hand. I really like the two little swords in there. Chrono tempered leg plates. Might be a random piece. I'm Steadfast Purifier War Boots. And then the weapon is the Will Breaker with um, Colossus Illusion to just make it shiny. And the shield is the Drake Rider's Stack Torch. So this is one of the few sets where I um, wear a helm that completely, helmet that completely covers my face and hair. Usually I'm not the biggest fan of but this one I think is just so cool that I made an exception. Now this set was, um, I think one of the first, if not, I think this is the first transmog set that I saved for a Paladin. This is when I just started doing um, transmog runs for plates. This was my first 
played wearing character that I actively played. I didn't have a lot to work with. I just had a few items that I collected here and there. And it's a complete like mix match of random items and um, they just go well together except for the chest. I don't like the, the breastplate is a bit off and low res. The gloves are all right, but yeah. So this is a bit random. I use this for a little bit, but not for too long because I'm not a fan of the color red. Like red and fire, it's not really my thing. I'm more of like purple, ice, blue, water, icy things or dark, but not like lava, warm, fire, red, stuff like that. That's not really my theme, my vibe. I can show you guys, it's random. This is the crown of desolation. This was a reward at some point or anniversary thing, I don't remember, but yeah. I think it was also in the store at some point. Then the Spalders of Recurring Flame, the Cloak of Stifling Brimstone, the Conqueror's Aegis Breastplate, Bindings of the Silver Hand, like I didn't bother with the bracers, but here they kind of stick out, so I would, I would change them if I would use this again, right? This looks a bit sloppy. The Grips of the Fallen Council, Flesh Chewer Great Belt, Firestorm Leg Plates, and the Cracked Obsidian Stump. I love using stompers for boots, that's just hilarious. The weapon is the Volcano Spike with the Sinrath Illusion. Looks, I don't know, a bit off, but hey. And the shield is the Primal Revenance Firewall. So that's a more fire-themed transmog. Then the second to last set. Um, this is the... Covenant set, the plate set for uh, the Bastion Covenant in Shadowlands with my artifact, one of my artifact shield and I've got the wings here these shoulders are just done, I, I don't like them I love the, like the light swirly thing but I don't like shoulders that go up they need to go like out a bit, be like spiky outwards or something, or lay on your, your shoulder, but not like something up that is like holding, containing something, I don't know. I'm sure there's something better for that now. I think I revamped this completely at some point, but didn't save it or something, I couldn't find it, but I added a very old low res, I think it's a cataclysm chest piece. Um, it fits, it's just a bit low res. The uh, hands are the, um, Shadowlands, like the collector set, like what do you call it, if you pre-order the game and you do like the heroic edition or whatever, you get this transmog set. I think it was that, something like that, or Dragonfly. This weapon is pretty old, but it has great quality for how old it is, I think. I forgot all the names, but I'm gonna show you. So this is all, um... Selfless Collector Spalder, Selfless Wings of the Ascended, Chest Guard of Radiant Glory, Selfless Collectors, okay, so Selfless Collectors is like the Bastion set. The Eternal Traveler's Gauntlets are the hands, Selfless Collector's Girdle, Leg Guards, and War Boots. The weapon is Hailstorm. Hailstorm is so cool, like look at it, I love this sword. It's my favorite if I need to do transmogs in this color. I think I even had this for the white, like the platinum white set that I showed earlier. I think this was uh, an option that I've had for a little bit on that transmog set. And Truth Guard is the shield. So yeah. 
I saved the best for last. So this is, um, this set is called, I can't say out loud how I call this transmog set, but it starts with an S and an L mog, like you probably know, right? And, um, can I show this? Okay, the spike is just hiding it. And I don't know, no particular reason for this. I just thought it made my character look bomb AF. Like, look at her. Oh my god. Look at those muscles. She looks amazing, right? Even though it's a few pixels on my screen. I don't care. I'm proud of my girl. <laughs> no, but this was just for fun. I actually really like the, the, the breastplate. I, I like a bit of tummy showing in transmog sets. Um, I don't know, it makes no sense in reality. You don't go to battle like this. You don't go to war like this. It's completely stupid, but um, showing a bit of tummy in transmogs, I actually like. the Now, the, the leg, the leg piece, um, okay, maybe a bit too much, right? But for the sake of completing this set, I had to buy the the legs as well didn't have much that fits with it i think this was also one of the first things i i did kind of for fun like the um shield and the weapon they don't fit at all it's completely random there's no logics behind it i can probably make something really cool with this now with all the items that i've collected so far i can probably find a weapon and a shield that fits some different gloves maybe maybe a cloak to hide a little bit right but hey she looks great but um yeah this was just for fun i've never actually walked around in game like this because it kind of makes me a bit uncomfortable <laughs> even though she looks great right so um yeah let's quickly go back to my current set so yeah, before my girl gets too cold, <laughs> quickly changed into some, I don't know if this is necessarily more comfortable clothes, it all looks pretty awful to wear, but this is the set I'm rocking at the moment and I love it. I just wish that this mount would just magically turn black, like imagine this mount would have been black and the lights would still be like white gray, that would be sick. That was so cool, but yeah, that jump. But yeah, this is my set now. And yeah, those were all my saved paladin sets that I have on this character. So, if you are still awake by now, please let me know in the comments which one is your favorite out of all the sets that I've shown. What is your favorite set? And um, yeah, I hope this... Um, gave some of you some inspiration i hope that maybe some of you were wondering what i used have your questions answered um now it would be great if you guys would use it as inspiration make your own cool transmog set out of it right but um if suddenly all of you are gonna run around in dornagal looking like this i'm gonna take it as a compliment for my amazing transmog style all right, I'm just kidding, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, I hope you found it relaxing. I want to wish you all a good day or a good night, sleep well, and I see you next time. Bye-bye.